Hey everyone, Dave here, and don't worry, I only recorded about 60 seconds without hitting record. This time, it is recording. So how's it going? It's Tuesday. It is November 1st, so rabbit, rabbit. If you don't remember that joke, you're probably not a Nick kid. <laughs> I, I remember Nickelodeon always had this thing where they'd say like, I don't know if it was Stick Stickly or someone else, would say the first thing you should say in a new month is rabbit, rabbit. And if that's the first thing you say right when you wake up, you're gonna have good luck that month. A little cheesy, but I always tried to do it and always failed. I'm headed up, up the, uh, up to the attic, because I don't really have any more of my big bubble wrap down here. Just that purple stuff, and I think I have some in my attic. You know, I don't know if I ever showed you my attic with all my storage stuff in it. I could probably fit more in here, but you guys told me not to put inventory in here. You said if I put inventory up here, oop, right, let there be light. Uh, then I'll never remember to take it down, so I didn't. I've got all my priority boxes, my bubble wrap, and then over here I've got just brown boxes. But I have all this space over here that's going to waste. And so I don't know what to put in there. Like I said, you guys told me not to do death pile. But the temptation is real to put death pile up here. Because then it would be out of my way. So here's the bubble wrap I need. And uh, let me go back down here. I don't know. I could put something else in here. It is a lot of space though. I should really make use of it. Okay, move that out of the way. Okay, that's good to go. So yesterday was Halloween and uh, my daughter was trying to find a costume for school and she couldn't wear her full costume because it was like an inflatable dinosaur and they didn't want her to wear like a mask in school. So she was trying to cobble together a costume in the garage and because of a wig I had and stuff, which I need to unlist, she ended up having like a Cleopatra kind of vibe and I actually found a Cleopatra costume in my garage. You know, with like a little headband and arm thing and like a little cape, a shawl, whatever. But as I was like getting this out for her, I noticed that this costume actually has stains on it. So it's actually lucky that she did that because now I know this is pretty much ruined. Took the listing down and yeah, so ended up working out to my benefit. But this is the wig. Here it is. This is the Cleopatra wig, which I'll probably take down since she wore it to school for a day and stuff. And I had it listed as new. <laughs> it's definitely not new anymore. Let's see how it looks on me. How do I look guys? It's like uh, a beetle. Do I look like a beetle? <laughs> I don't think they had beards. Beards weren't uh, the style back then. They're in style now, but they weren't in style back then. My dad did have that really weird mustache when I was growing up. Oh, I just did some push-ups. I don't know why. I do know why, but I shouldn't have. I regret it. I try my best not to exercise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Such a bad example. You should exercise. Doesn't mean I like it though. Doesn't mean I like it. Well, and the reason I was doing it is because in my podcast, I got to pull a Department 56. It's a cart. Okay, it should be over here. I was doing my podcast and I was talking about how I always seem to be able to do push-ups, even if I gain weight. And uh, I said I can pretty much always do like 20 to 25 push-ups. And someone like sent me a message on my disc Discord saying there's no way I could do 25 push-ups. So I had to prove them wrong. And I'll have you know, I did 32 push-ups, real push-ups. So I still have it. I still have the push-up ability. I think it's because I have like little arms, so it's very short distance to travel. <laughs> uh, I think this Department 56 I sold is in the house. Let me go grab it. All right, so I have this like, um, what is it? A habit or a, uh, a routine? I think routine is the better word when it comes to my eBay store. I list stuff, right? And you know, I list it. I list it at what I think is the market value and it doesn't sell right away. But what also happens is I, I end up putting a 10% off sale on my store. I like always do that. I pretty much always have a 10% coupon running on my store because I would, and I've said this to you guys if you've been watching for a long time. Oh, wait, should we introduce the channel? I sell on eBay, guys. Hello, if you're new here. Um, but what I say to you guys, I don't want to do 10% promotions, promoted listing, because then eBay gets more fees and I'd rather give the discount to the, the buyer than to eBay. And whether or not that's like a good strategy, a good idea, I don't really know. I definitely have way less sales than I had last year, but that's also because I'm not listing as much. So I don't really blame eBay for that. I kind of blame myself for that. But what happens is I put a 10% off sale on. I sold this, by the way. This is Department 56. Can I show it to you easily? Oh, I can, yeah. It's a little uh, Curiosities Monger and Cart Department 56 sold. Set of two pieces. But yeah, so I, I always like just set up a 10% off coupon. The problem is it always expires. Like every 30 days it expires. And when it expires, my sales come to a screeching halt. That sold for $10, that Department 56 thing. And I sold this one too. Um, another Department 56. The sales come to a screeching halt and I'm always like, huh, why is my eBay dead? 
And then I go look and I remember, oh, my promotion died because I do it for like a month and then it dies. Check this out. Santa and his eight tiny reindeer. Santa's not even in the sleigh, is he? Yeah, it's just sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Santa sold separately. Uh, and this was $24.99 plus shipping. Not bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, so that happens constantly. And today I was like, man, I need to do a eBay pull order, but I have like no sales. And I was like, I bet my coupon died again. And sure enough, I went and checked and my coupon died again because it expires. So very frustrating. It's my own fault though. Where is this? This is in Top Shelf, House and Hounds Pub. Um, this is another Department 56. Yeah, Horse and Hounds Pub, sorry. Yeah, I mean, this uh, this Department 56 stuff is selling. Oh, that's heavy. We also sold some piggies. We'll talk about that in a minute. So here's the Department 56 Horse and Hounds Pub. This one sold for a decent amount of money. Uh, I'll tell you what it was. I already forgot. Look at me. Short-term memory loss. I'm like Dory. Not Dory the Explorer. <laughs> oh, I wanted to tell you something, too. Um, hold on. First of all, let me tell you what this sold for. That sold for $45, that department 56. Anyways, I found this when I was going through all my DVDs and games. It's empty, and I couldn't find a listing for the empty case. But then, I was over here looking at my um, stuff, and I found a bunch of DVDs that are not listed. Video games, DVDs that are not, like Gun. This wasn't listed, I looked it up. It's not listed on my store, so. I don't know, that might be one of those weird things where like your eBay listings fall off, like just disappear for no apparent reason. I think that might have happened to me a little bit. I like my little DVD collection though. You know, it helps me sleep at night. Seven, is that the one with Brad Pitt? David Fincher. Yeah, it is Brad Pitt. I haven't watched that in a long time. But yeah, so last night was Halloween. We did go trick or treating. You know, all our neighbors came over to us and they said, hey, just to let you know. Oh, and I gotta tell you a story too about one of my neighbors. Just to let you know, we get a ton of kids in this neighborhood. Ton, ton of kids. And you should be prepared. And one person even stopped, like we were, we were out there getting our stuff ready. They're like, you don't have enough candy. And we're like, what do you mean? They're like, Tress says you don't have enough candy. And they drove by and we had like four big buckets, like this big buckets full of candy. And sure enough, we ran out of candy. I think we ran out at like 8.30, but a lot of people ran out at like 7.30. So we did pretty good, but yeah, we definitely didn't have enough candy. Oh, you know what? There's so many things I want to do, guys. I've got my, my brain is everywhere all the time. It's, it's kind of challenging to be me. <laughs> Uh, we did get some sales though. My arms are shaking from the push-ups. This was a terrible idea right before I record. I just had to prove to him that I could do over 25 and now I feel terrible. But no, so we start trick-or-treating and Elijah, my son, wore a Commonwealth Picker shirt with like a scary mask, right? That's what he decided to wear for Halloween. That was his costume. I posted it on Instagram if you didn't see it. But so he's wearing this and we go across the road and uh, <laughs> the neighbor's like, hey, Commonwealth Picker. The neighbor right across the road from me <laughs> knew Kevin the Commonwealth Picker. <laughs> And I was like, oh, you know Kevin? He's like, yeah. I was like, okay, well, have you heard of the NC Pickers? Like, oh, yeah, I've heard of him. I said, well, that's me. And he's like, oh, it is you. <laughs> and he's like, I didn't know I lived across from the NC Picker. That's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, so this is what I wanted to do. I had this idea to help you guys out, um, if you so desired, right? I've got the stickers now, like the nice, high-quality, die-cut piggy stickers, right? Two list or nap, that is the question. I've got all four of them, and I've been listing them on my big cartel. But I was thinking, and I was selling them for the same price as Kevin sells them for, which is like seven bucks. So I was thinking it would be cool to do like a bundle and just let you buy all the stickers if you wanted to for like one flat rate. And so I was going to take a picture of all four of the piggy sticker, stickers, piggy stickers. Should I do the NC Picker and NC Flipper too? Like all five stickers? All six stickers? Maybe I should, because I got these big NC Picker and NC Flipper stickers. And do a bundle and just like get a discounted price for all of them. Maybe do 25 for all of them or something. I guess I should figure out what I paid for them. They're expensive. I could do 25. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to do a new listing on my big cartel for all six stickers for 25 bucks. Because a couple of people were saying they wanted to buy them all and they were looking for a discount. So I think that's the way to do it for the stickers. Some people did buy some stickers and I think we sold... How many piggies did we sell? I'll tell you how many we have left before we're sold out. 12 left. We have 12 NC piggies left. I've got to ship eight of them. See if we got any messages here. Ashley said, thanks for the piggy. Linda said, I'm 75 years young, been watching for three years. I enjoy your trash to cash podcast. Never miss one. That's awesome. I love it. I love it that you watch the podcast. I can't get my mom to watch the podcast. How do you, mom. Um, Marcus said, thanks for everything, Dave. 
Laura said, I'll put this on top of my whole shelf of Christmas. I need to list. I'll list it now. Christmas is coming. And then Jenna said, I'm sad that your other sticker is sold out. I'm, I've got them all, Jenna. I just am being a slacker. I got to get them listed. The problem is to list the stickers, I got to like go upstairs and list them on that computer. And uh, this one doesn't have like all the all the technology that I need. I think I'm just going to toss this Cleopatra costume. Although every time I throw something out, I get an angry complaint. Dave, you shouldn't have thrown that away. <laughs> you could have used it to, I don't know, turn it into a washcloth or something. There's always something better you can do than throw something out, is what I've learned from being on YouTube. There's always some like better use for whatever you're gonna toss. And uh, yeah, so here I am throwing it out anyways. I'm sorry, guys. So we'll grab, uh-oh, eight NC piggies and we'll ship those to three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Okay. So we got our piggies pulled. That's something. Gonna be sad to get, see them go. I would guess, I don't know guys, probably like a week left to decide if you want a piggy and then they'll probably be gone. Uh, oh, and don't forget last video that I did, uh, the, what was it, Monday release? Giving away an action figure. And so if you want to try to win the Doc Emmett Brown action figure from NECA, make sure you go comment on that last video. Um, but do that after you watch this, not before. Okay, so up next we sold three O-Snaps. Those are the phone grips that I sell. I have quite a few left. I'll probably sell out of those this year too, but I sold three of these on eBay. It was a bundle deal. Someone said, hey, if I buy three, can I get them for, what did they want them for? I can just look at what it sold for. $76, and I said yes. So I got three for 76. Was that 26 bucks a piece, 25, 25, 75 a piece, something like that. Um, and so I'll ship those, will be easy shipper. So $76, 50 cents for those three phone grips. And then, hey, you know what? Not a lot of sales today, but big money in these sales. Um, FL71 is another great sale. Look at that. This is like, really this is the life you want to live as a reseller. Just sell like six items, but they're all worth a ton. <laughs> Same amount of money, half the work. So this sold too, this is the Myofascial Pain and Dysfunction Trigger Point Manual. It's some sort of educational textbook for massage therapy. I got it in North Carolina when I was up at Kevin's Uncle Mark's garage sale. And that sold for not what it says. Hold on. I sent an offer and it, it sold. I don't know why it's just showing the full price. I'm pretty sure they got a discount. Yeah, here we go. I did a 10% offer. It was listed for 100 and so they got it for $89.99 plus shipping. So that's a $90 book right there. Really nice. Really nice sale. Really nice sale. Trick or treating, I, it was kind of funny. So, you know, it was a big group, me and my sister and her kids and my, what is that? My cousin? Yeah, my cousin and my kids and all that. We're out there trick or treating and like everyone runs out of energy except for me and Annabelle because me, I'm just a psychopath who never runs out of energy. And Annabelle's my offspring. So she is very similar when it comes to energy levels. And she, now Elijah and Callie also have a ton of energy, but um, Elijah just, you know, he thinks he's too cool to, to uh, do the trick-or-treating thing because he's like 13 now, so it makes sense. Is he 14? He might be 14. Yeah, he's 14 now, so he's getting too cool. Although, I'll tell you what, some little girl down the road came and was like, hey, can Elijah come trick-or-treating with me? I'm like, no. <laughs> I know, I'm mean. <laughs> Well, listen, I would potentially, he's probably old enough to walk around and trick or treat with uh, his friends, but I'm like so overprotective. Um, I told him, I said, listen, all your family's here. You know, I didn't realize you and your friends would want to go out. So next year you can go with your friends. This year though, since all your cousins are here, we should go with them. Yep, I don't know, I don't know about that. But anyways, the story I was telling is me and Annabelle like had a ton of energy. So we walk around like one circle, we get back and like everyone drops off. Like Elijah's done, Callie's done, the cousins are all done, my sister's done, the cousin's done, everyone's done. So I'm like, all right, Anna, I'll take you out. And so me and Anna just went. And our neighborhood was like super, super crowded, like tons and tons of trick-or-treaters, like I said. But I think that caused a problem in that every house I went to was only giving the kids like one or two pieces of candy, which is fine. But like one, we went to a lot of houses that just had one little dum dum lollipop. Like a lot of walking for a low return on investment. When we were up in North Carolina, we did not have as many places or as many streets, but they gave out a lot. So the kids would end up like overloaded with candy after like an hour and a half. We're at the hour and a half mark and they only have like just a very small amount of candy. 
comparatively. It's all great, it's free candy. I was like, yeah, I'll keep going. So we decided to go on like some side roads that had like no traffic and no one was there and it was like dead. And I would say probably 75 to 85% of the houses weren't even participating in the trick or treating. But every now and then we'd run into a house that had a bunch of Halloween decorations that were definitely super into it. And they were like wishing kids would come to their house, right? And so we, I'd be like, Anna, let's do this one. So we'd go up to that one. And when we, when they opened the door, they're like so excited that a kid is finally there who's dressed up because Anna was dressed up that they like went ham on how much candy they gave her. We went to one house, this guy takes his hands into the candy. He's like, here you go, trick or treat. And he gives her five double handfuls of candy. Like <laughs> went to another lady's house. She had like three, actually that one was, the other one was pretty funny because she had like a big Annabelle doll. You know, the creepy Annabelle movie. And she had the creepy Annabelle doll answer the movie. And my daughter's name is Annabelle. So it was like, pretty funny Anna was like isn't that Annabelle and then the lady jumps out and gives her like four big things that can't anyways so this is the tip of the day okay the tip of the day is if you're in a really crowded neighborhood with lots of trick-or-treaters go to the off-roads where people don't go and there might be some people that have a ton of candy way less work way more candy we were t we were talking about it working out earlier right good I've canceled that out I sold this this is John Denver and the Muppets LP record very cool sold that for 10 bucks plus shipping Man, I don't think I had any sales under $10 today. Look at us, we're fancy. Yeah, let's see, what's our total? I mean, it was only six sales. Yeah, six items sold for a grand total. It's gonna be easy to ship. I mean, we also sold things on the, the big cartel NC Piggy store, but that's different. Just on eBay, I'm saying we sold six items, grand total of $316.79. So what is the average there? $52 average sale price. That's the world I wanna live in. Uh, that's good stuff. Oh, and I'll tell you what else. So <laughs> Callie, and I know not everyone knows Callie well. She's my eight year old and she is like the most giving kid in the world. Like she just loves to make people happy. She will give you the coat off her back. Like she's going to be doing so much charity work when she grows up. Like I just already know that about her. Right. And she is like, to a fault gives stuff away. Like to the point where we're like, honey, we just bought you that for $50 and you gave it away to some random kid you've never met before. Like that's the level of her generosity. And uh, <laughs> I go to pick her up at the school bus stop today and she's got this box of candy, right? 50 or 60 candy bars that she's supposed to sell for school. And it says on there, $1 for a candy bar. And she gets off the bus, she's like, dad, you want a candy bar? <laughs> I'm like, Callie. Callie, that looks like it's something you're supposed to sell, not give me. And she's like, well, yeah, but it's okay if you give some away. I'm like, no, no, I'm pretty sure it's not, Callie. I'm pretty sure the school that gave you this would want the $60 at the end of the whole fundraiser, right? And she's like, well, I already gave away some, Dad. <laughs> and I'm like, how many did you give away? She's like, I don't know, four, five, five candy bars. I'm like, well, you understand now you have to pay for those. She's like but I don't have any money. <laughs> and I said, I know, Callie, I know. And you need to stop giving them away. So I thought that was a funny little tidbit. And you know what, what kind of blew me away is one of the ones she gave away, she gave to the school bus driver. How did the school bus driver not realize, hey, she's giving me this out of her donation box. She should, I should probably pay her a dollar, but whatever. <sighs> Anyways, we'll deal with that. But I did at least inform her that she needs to stop giving them away. Otherwise we're gonna have to pay $60 <laughs> and I don't really want to. All right, I think that's the end of the episode. A short one today because honestly, six sales. I mean, how long am I supposed to talk about six sales? Just not that much. But it's a new month, I'm excited. We're going to Universal. I know I'm addicted to Universal. I think uh, this weekend with my parents. So my parents have never been there before. Well, maybe when I was a kid, but I haven't been in like 20 years. So we're going with them and we're going camping in the pop-up, which will be fun. I haven't been camping since like February. So it'll be nice to get the camper out and go camping. And I uh, won't do yard sales. Didn't get to do yard sales because of the rain on last Saturday. So, you know, just living life. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. And we'll talk to you next time.